Today I'm all recovered from my Pittsburgh shopathon. I took yesterday off. I went down to the DC area, hung out with Rachel, where we went to the mall and I got this, the mall mall, and got this incredible little taxi purse. Anyway, uh, today I'm gonna do shopathon round two. Uh, I got a little bit of a late start. I sent out all my packages today, so I'm very proud. Um, I'm gonna start in Gettysburg, which is at Rebel's Roost. I don't usually go here, but um, thought I was since I was passing by and making my way up to the Dover area, it was worth a shot. Uh, let's go in and see what they got. They have a little bit more country than kitsch. Oh my gosh, I love this angel planter though. It's American Bisque Company. Um, as one of my viewers pointed out, you can tell by the grooves on the bottom of the planter. 18 is probably around what I get for that after fees. There's a lot packed in this little room here. It's kind of all styles mixed together. So I'm trying not to miss anything. I like this deer, I've had this planter a bunch um let's see how much is that ah ah 20 bucks okay we are going to move on a lot of little figurines and knickknacks here i'm seeing a decent amount of reproduction um mixed in here these are kind of nice these little wall pockets uh this looks new no, I'm wrong. This is uh, older, but it's $24. So I'm gonna pass on that. Oh my gosh, look at the little cats. Those are fun, but I'm not a big fan of the brown. What in the world? That's kind of spectacular. Unfortunately, it's $48, so I can't do anything with it. This one's interesting too. The last in bed to put out the light, okay. Mm, not as exciting as I thought. A lot of really nice quinoa glass. I don't know if I said that right. I'm still working on my coffee over here. Whoa, those are kind of fun. They're definitely uh, new. Oh, there's no glass there. <laughs> yeah, they're new. 30% off. Plastic tablecloth, that's kind of fun though. And the gift boxes, those are sweet. Here's another one of these little vintage Santa towels. That one's not as old as I'd like though. I'm kind of doing a quick glance over and seeing if anything pops out at me. I have found some really fun textiles and uh, vintage hankies in here. <laughs> I kind of love this. <laughs> All right, let's head down the stairs here little Christmas dogs nine dollars each that's a super fair price um I've had these a bunch though you know what does pop out to me this oh my gosh adorable little elf five bucks we're gonna go ahead and take that um, I also noticed that there's a little Josef's original Christmas mouse over here and it's only $3. Now, the past couple ones I've picked up have had damage or repairs and I've missed it. So I'm being extra cautious. Looks okay to me. So we're gonna take these two items and uh, the cow, I've had this one a few times. $10 is a really good price. I could even make a couple bucks off that, but I've just had it so much recently. Is this McCoy? This looks like McCoy. It does look a little older, doesn't it? And then the hand is kind of neat too. Hmm. Oh my gosh, look at the little lipstick one. Oh, pink elephant box. This looks like Taiwan. Yeah, made in Taiwan. It's a little bit newer than I'd like and I've had this a few times. I did not grab a basket. Is this a Kokeshi doll? Hmm. Box. Not bad. I'm not like terribly in love with her. I am kind of crazy about this Santa. I believe this is a music box. Does it work? It does work. 12 bucks. I 
think I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Why not? Picked up a basket. Uh, I paid a couple dollars more than I might have wanted to originally for that Santa Claus music box one, because it's kind of hard to find two, because I paid so little for the other items. What is this? That is very, very cool. Very, oh my gosh. <laughs> I really like all these old pool balls. I used to have uh, these in my garden when I had my house. All right, we got some more little Christmas knickknacks. It's cute. I always get nervous about these though because the stickers come off so easily. Oh my gosh, I'm just now noticing how much is happening here. Okay, um, reel it in. This is adorable. $10? What? Okay, let's see how difficult this would be to ship. Not that bad, actually. I kind of want to get this. Um, it is not my shipping ideal. I'm going to keep looking before I pick it up. Oh my god, it's just so cute. This little Santa pot trinket. These assemblages are really well priced. This one's only eight bucks. Hmm, I'm gonna take a better look at that one's older. Wow, that's amazing. Um, I'm gonna take a better look at everything before I just start picking all of it up. I'm really curious what's going on over here. Uh, this is a newer one. Well, it's not like new, new chalk, but it's not the original Napco ceramic. Uh, over here, I couldn't help but notice this funny guy. $10. He's got a little bit of damage. Um, it's a really fair price for a collector, though. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at this happy little Santa. 15 That's about retail on that one. Love the little mouse. Mm. Oh my gosh, look at these Christmas puzzles. How cute are they? And uh, yeah, and this is adorable too, but not sold. I like this angel one. How much is this? $12, that's so cheap. Oh, I'm having a hard time uh, getting started here. Another little candy container. Oh, snowman. <laughs> He's kind of fun. The mistletoe snowman, 10 bucks. That's about what I'd get for that after fees, but I can't help but notice these little pose pixies. Seven, they seven each. Yeah, those are pretty adorable. I might, I might actually grab those. Um, they're offering 10%. Yes, 10% all, but firm. So they come to like $6.30 each. Let's see. Anything else in here noteworthy? <laughs> I love the little mouse too. That's adorable. $7. Oh, and it's spun. I think that's so cute. Not as crazy about it as the Pixies. I um, think I'm just gonna go ahead and get these two. This one, is this head about to come off? I'm nervous, hold on. Let me, let me put my camera down and investigate this one better. Nope, I'm gonna go ahead and take both of these. Those are kind of an easy sell because they go quick and they're easy to ship. Um, this looks like a single shaker, yeah. Okay, I don't think I can leave this here in good faith. Um, I kind of hate that it's attached to this bell jar, but I'm gonna give it a better look. Anyway, oh my gosh, I can already tell this sticker is gonna take forever to get off. Oh, I'm having second thoughts. It's a really good price, but it's just a little bit more of a headache than I'd like. Well, I always mention I love these old earring holders and I'm picky about which ones I pick up. A mushroom I would definitely pick up if it was a little bit less. $12 is about retail on that. Speaking of mushrooms, I wish this guy uh, had its mate. That is adorable. Ooh, I like this wall pocket. $12. There's a little room on that, but not enough to make me jump. 
this is another one of those nooks you really got to pay attention uh, even though a lot of it is newer they have some older stuff mixed in what's going on with this <laughs> scary fish <laughs> that's kind of fun it is new though and then the ballerina this one's japan made to uh resemble dresden 25 Oof. hmm what do we have oh my gosh i almost knocked that over that's exactly what i thought it was left in valentine's day five dollars um we are gonna go ahead and take this for sure <laughs> 